Hello everyone. Today we will discuss our new chapter. Right, the the name of the unit is strategies for the enhancement in food production. Right. Half of that chapter is related with the botany and half is related with the zoology. Right. In zoology, uh, we'll study about the animal husbandry. Right. So, what is that animal husbandry? We can see the agricultural practice of the breeding, ah, uh, uh, breeding and raisings of the livestock. Right. In which we'll study about all those, ah, uh, all those animals or the breeds of the animals which are useful for us, the products of the animals, right? So in that chapter, rearing of the ah uh, animals which is useful for us, like the cow, the buffalo, and their products even, right? We use. So these are studied under. that right so for the betterment of their species uh, what will what will we do right now come to the next one first is the first question that is animal husbandry deals with right what is that animal husbandry only caring of livestock no it's not related only caring right it is related with the caring and breeding also right of the livestock livestock that means those animals which are useful for the human beings right uh, which are useful for the human beings in terms of their products right like the by the use of uh, that is the cow milk we use the cow's milk right and by that milk we uh, have we obtain some milk products like the curd the paneer and all these things right even by the buffalo also we have the milk right in case of the camels uh, we use the camels uh, ske hide right for the uh, um, making of the saddles and uh, for the other uh, Uh, other industrial uh, industrial pattern in leather wool, right? Uh, next one is it. Uh, it's uh, dung is used for uh, as a fuel, right? Uh, their uh, hairs is uh, used to make the brushes. So all these things, right? So that's why those animals which are useful for us, they are called uh, they are called the livestock. So only breeding of livestock, no. Both caring and breeding of livestock, yes. Right, slaughtering of the livestock, no. So the answer is three. Right. Next one is which one of the following animal is not included in the livestock? Right. Which one animal is not included in the livestock? Right, a uh, pig is added in the livestock. Why? Because the pig is used. Uh, pig is used for eating the flesh. Right, and its uh, flesh is known as the pork. Buffalo is used to obtain the milk. Right, goat is used to obtain the milk as well as wool, rearing for the wool and the hide. Right, and for the meat as well. Rhinoceros. So its answer is uh, answer is four. It is not included in the livestock because it's not so easy to rear it. Right, it's not possible to to rear the rhinoceros. Now come to the next question. Right. It is estimated that more than dash of the world's livestock population is in India and China. That is more than seventy percent of the world livestock and population is present in India and the China actually, and that is exact line of the. These are the line of the N C E R T, right? Now come to the next question. Contribution of India and China to world farm produce is only that is five percent no, ten percent no, fifteen percent no, twenty five percent right. The contribution of India and China to world farm produce is only twenty five percent. That is these are the questions which are directly uh, which you have to learn it directly right. Now come to the next question. All of the following are the objects objectives of the dairy farm management, except improvement in quality of milk, selection of good breeds having yielding uh, potential. Selection of breeds are vulnerable to the disease. No, right? It's not the objective of the dairy farm management and maintenance of the quality and quantity of the fodder. Yes, right. So. According to that, that means uh, 
the incorrect answer related with the dairy farm management is 3 so the answer is that right that's why in that question the exceptional case is asked right now come to the next a good breed of cattle means it should have high yielding potential correct it should get, uh, have resistance to disease exactly it should consume less amount of water no right so the answer both a and uh, both one and two is correct so the answer is four right so the correct answer is four clear come to the next point next question come to the next question that is seventh is the manage uh, dash is the management of the animals for the milk and its products for the human consumption right for the human consumption that poultry is related with the chickens and uh, that is related with the uh, rearing of the birds especially the chicken or the ducks and all these things right daring that is because it is talking about in that question it is uh, related with the milk and their products so dairy farm management is related with that so the answer is two right come to the next question which one of the following measures is taken to realize the yield potential of the cattle right proper housing exactly if we uh, if we uh, a proper uh, uh, if we arrange proper housing for the cattles right so they prevent it from the diseases right and uh, adequate amount of the supply uh, uh, adequate uh, supply of the water with good um, uh, good quality of the food fodders right stringent cleanliness and maintains the hygienic conditions so uh, the uh, potential cattles is there right so all these statements are correct so the answer is four clear that is all of these come to the next in dairy farm management it was deal with the process and systems that increase yield and improve the quality of milk which one of the following statement is incorrect right which one of the following statement is incorrect in this regard what will happen c actually that is uh, the all these lines are given in ncrt incorrect statement milk yield is primarily dependent upon the quality of milk therefore selection of high yielding breed is very important correct the quality and the quantity of fodder provided to cattle do not contribute much to the milk yield no it depends right if we uh, if we provide good fodder with good quality and quantity right so milk uh, production is good right so cleanliness and hygieneness both are the cattle and holders are of the paramount importance while milking storage transportation of milk and its products correct regular inspections visited by the veterinary doctor with the proper record helping uh, keeping help identify and rectify the problems of the cattle as early as possible thus ensuring a milk a proper milk yielding correct so all these explain actually the dairy farm management if we want disease free products of the animals then we have to maintain the quality of the food the quality uh, the quantity of the water as well as the quality of the water right it should the food and the water should be con uh, should be the should be free from the microorganisms right uh, the uh, regular checkup by the veterinary doctor is must to maintain the hygienic condition right to uh, give a proper uh, place a hygienic place to live them right so all these things matters actually uh, which can affect the products of the animals which will be used right so that's why the answer is the two big just because of they asked the incorrect statement clear now come to the next which one of the following birds are included in poultry right chicken ducks only no only chicken ducks turkey correct 
चिकन ओनली नो चिकन डक्स टर्की गीज एग्जैक्टली राइट सो ऑल दीज स्टेटमेंट्स ऑल दीज आर ऑल दीज बर्ड्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन दी पोल्ट्री फॉर्म राइट नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट द चांसेस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग बर्ड फ्लू फ्रॉम अ प्रॉपरली कुकड अब हंड्रेड परसेंट सॉरी हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड चिकन एंड एग्स आर राइट वेरी हाई हाई मॉडरेट नन ऑफ दीज सो द आंसर इज नन ऑफ दीज द चांसेस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग बर्ड फ्लू फ्रॉम अ प्रॉपरली कुकड चिकन और एग्स आर नन राइट कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which one of the following can drastically affect the egg and the chicken consumption in a country? Right, bird flu, the inbreeding, the outcrossing, the crossbreeding. No, they are related to improve the breeding, animal breedings. Right, they are the type of the types of the breedings. Clear, but. Drastically affect the egg and chicken consumption in a country that is called the that is known as the bird flu. Right, bird flu affects it. when we know that if the species is affected with some diseases then we will not be able to consume it right so simply bird flu is the in kind of infection right it's a kind of infection in the birds right that is also known as the avian influenza right it is also known as the avian influenza which is a viral infection and it can affect not only the birds right but also the humans and the other animals if we eat the infected birds right like the chicken the ducks or the turkeys or the geese right so most of the uh viruses which are restricted to the birds they have the most common infection is h5n1 right the responsible that virus is responsible for that bird flu is the h5n1 right which is the common form of the bird flu that is that is also the question of pre medical now the question is that what is inbreeding what is outcrossing and what is the cross breeding right so come to the next point in breeding that is mating in the same species right in that means in in house inside right in the same species when the mating is, uh, is occur then it is called the in breeding and when the, the mating occurs in different species that is called the out breeding but in ncert there are some specific points given on the basis of that the question asked in previous years exams right so come to here that is about the inbreeding inbreeding refers the mating of more closely related individuals right with that within the same breed within the same breed for 4 to 6 generation right so that breeding strategy is as follows the that means the superior males and the superior females of the same breed are identified and mated in the pairs right so what will happen the progeny obtained from such matings are the evaluated and the superior females and the females among them are identified for the further mating right but when we practicing the uh, such type of breeding uh, on the ba regular basis what will happen due to the closing breed close breeding usually it reduces the fertility capacity even the reproductive in the productivity right so this is called the inbreeding depression because now after after uh, after a certain period there is no appear there is no appearance of any new trait new character or the better character uh, of that species right so that kind of breeding uh, that is called that condition is known as the inbreeding depression right that condition is known as the inbreeding depression now come to the outbreeding what is outbreeding outbreeding is the breeding of the unrelated animals right which may be the uh, individual of the same breed but having no common ancestors in that inbreeding common ancestry is there up to the 4 to 6 generation but in outbreeding there is no common ancestry right or we can say in between the two different breeds that is called the cross breed or different species right when we use two different breeds like for example when we cross the a uh, breed of dog that is one is alsatian and second one is the doberman right and both of the uh, quality is superior clear so that is related with but it's not uh, but it is not having common ancestry right so that is called cross breeding but if we cross the donkey and the 
horse that is different species that is called the interspecific hybridization mule and hen is the example of the interspecific hybridization right now come to the crow outcrossing the practicing of mating of animals within the same breed but having no common ancestors right so up to uh, and the, to their pedigree up to 4 to 6 generation these are called the outcrossing and when we talk about the cross breeding in that matter superior male of one breed with superior female of the another breed crossing right and the cross breeding allows the desirable qualities of two different breeds right it to be continued so all these are the types of the uh, breeding right that is animal breeding uh, in breeding out breeding out out crossing and cross breeding right now come to the next question controlled mating followed by the selection in order to obtain the superior genotypes of domesticated animals it is known as the animal breeding weeding feeding heeding so that is called the animal breeding it is just uh, the definition clear come to the next a group of the animals which are related by the descent and share many similarities which are referred as they are called the breeds right they are called the breeds as we know that the group of animals which are related by the descent and share many similarities they are called the breeds so now what is the uh, races or the species of you know about the varieties right so when we talk about them what is the races that is in biological taxonomy races is in formal rank right in taxonomic hierarchy below the level of the subspecies right so races may be genetically distinct population of the individual right they are genetically distinct population of the individual within the same species right within the same species or they may be defined in the other ways that is for example the geographically or the physiologically right so these are called the races when we talk about the species you know about the species right but we will discuss little bit about that a living organism a group of the living organism which consists of the similar right which consists of the similar individual capable of exchanging the genes or interbreeding right so the species is the principal natural taxonomic unit right that is rank, uh, it's uh, just below uh, the genus and it is denoted by the latin binomial right so for example in homo and sapiens homo is the genus and sapiens is the species right now come to the next question which one of the following is an exotic breed of the cattle the jersey the leghorn the herbs the none of the above is a breed of the cattle so the jersey is the breed of the cattle right jersey is the breed of breed of the cattle now come to the next in breeding is carried out in animal husbandry because it increases the vigor improves the breed increases the heterozygosity no it increases the homozygosity because we are talking about the inbreeding that is breeding in the same species right so there is no difference in uh, in uh, some like right so that is also that that is the line of the ncrt actually so it increases the homozygosity clear come to the next which one of the following is necessary to evolve a pure line in any animal right when we talk about that pure line that means there is no mixing right so that that's uh, that inbreeding is better for the pure line because uh, in uh, outbreeding that is mating in between two different breeds right outcrossing again two different uh, breeds in, is involved in cross breeding also 
right so in cross breeding also uh, there are two different species superior uh, species of the male and the female both right uh, sorry uh, different breeds of the male and the female both right and in interspecific hybridization we use two different species clear so in case of pure line we have we go to the inbreeding right now come to the next that is mule is in a uh, mule is an example of mule is an example of the interspecific hybridization obtained by the crossing male donkey and the female horse interspecific hybridization obtained by the crossing female donkey and male horse outcrossing and cross breeding so these are the cancelled because we know that mule is the example of mule and hen is the example of the interspecific hybridization right and in that uh, the uh, way obtained by crossing the male donkey and the female horse right so the answer is one right uh, that male donkey is called the jack and female uh, horse is known as the mare clear so by the crossing of the jack and mare we obtain a mule right that is the inter uh, that is the best example for the interspecific hybridization now come to the next that is hisar dale a new breed of sheep is produced through through right it is produced through the cross breeding that hisar dale is produced through the cross breeding right what is that hisar deal that we know that that is the new breed uh, breed of the sheep which is produced through the cross breeding but by the cross breeding of what right actually it is given in ncert page number 168 that hisar deal is a new breed of sheep which is developed in the punjab right it is developed in the it is developed in the punjab by crossing bikaneri ewes and the merino rams right by the crossing of bikaneri ewes and the merino rams right so you have to learn it exactly right come to the next question that is artificial insemination right what does it mean that artificial insemination right artificially inseminate that is inside that means simple that is transfer of sperms right that is transfer of sperms inside female genital tract right inside the female genital tract so artificially insemination is the advantages why because it is economical and success rate of fertilization is high correct right several cows can be fertilized by the semen collected from the one bull right correct the semen can be stored frozen for a long period and it can be reused and easily transported to the remote parts of the country right correct so all these statements are correct regarding the artificial insemination so the answer is the all of these right artificial by the process of artificial insemination actually artificial by the process of artificial insemination what will happen in that process the semen is collected from the male right that is chosen as a parent and injected into the reproductive tract of the female right by the breeder and that semen may be used immediately or it can be frozen used as a later date right so that process is known as the cryo preservation right that process is known as the cryo preservation in which we you uh, by minus 196 degree centigrade temperature in liquid nitrogen right in liquid nitrogen we uh, preserve these gametes actually right we preserve the gametes and it 
can also be transported in a frozen form to where the female is housed right so in that way the desirable matings are carried out by the artificial insemination and artificial insemination also helps to overcome the several problems of the normal matings right so that's why these are the, the these are the advantages of the artificial insemination correct this is also also the question of pre medical right come to that question next question is the process in which the semen is collected from right the semen is collected from the male that is chosen as a parent and injected into the reproductive tract of the selected female by the breeder we already studied about that it is called the artificial insemination the exact line of ncert this is the exact line of ncert right so it is called the artificial uh, it is called the artificial insemination right this is called the artificial insemination but we already studied about the animal breeding also right but there is two new term for you that is the moat and the multiple uh, that is artificial spermatogenesis right that moat that is multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology right that is multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology it is also given in ncert right actually that is a program to improve the her uh, to imp uh, for the improvement of the her right and in this method what will happen cow is administered with the fsh injection that is follicle stimulating hormone right uh, and we know that the function of the fsh is to uh, mature the ovarian follicles right and we also know that by the natural process in a month only one uh, a follicle gets mature completely right so but by the use of externally uh, uh, injected that fsh uh, the follicular maturation uh, uh, occurs and super ovulation occurs instead of one egg right so which they normally yield per cycle so they produce 6 to 8 eggs right they produce 6 to 8 eggs the animal is either mated by an elite bull or the artificial inseminated right so these fertilized eggs that is 8 to 32 cell stages fertilized eggs are recovered non surgically right and transferred to the surrogate mothers that means in the other cows right so the genetic mother is available for the another round for of the super ovulation and this technology has been demonstrated for the cattle the sheep the rabbits buffalo and the mares etc right what is the beneficial of that the high milk yielding breeds of females and the high quality uh, meat yielding bulls right have been bred uh successfully to increase the herd size in a short time right so that is the benefit of that multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology and it is the important from the examination point of view right from uh, for the competitive as well as for the board exam right now see uh artificial spermatogenesis when we talk about the artificial spermatogenesis as we know that spermatogenesis that is the formation of the sperm right that is the process of the formation of the sperm but when we uh, when we artificially form the sperm by the use of uh, some another cells outside of the body right that is called the artificial spermatogenesis come to the next question following are the steps in moat right moat program we already discussed that what is that moat that is the multiple ovulation tra transfer embryo technology right that is multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology what will happen in that case uh in which cow has been administered hormones with the fsh like activities arrange step a to d in their correct sequence right so what will happen transfer to surrogate mother is the last right so it's it is the last option last uh, uh, that is right it produces 8 to 6 eggs instead of one egg which they normally yield per cycle artificially inseminated 
light bull and yes so first one is the bombay right bombay is so second option is cancer then it is artificially inseminated or mated with the light bull exactly that is after that and fertilized egg at 32 celled stage are recovered non surgically exactly right so this is the correct sequence right you can see here also right so that is 6 to 8 eggs then what will happen the will the elite bull right uh, mated with the elite bull then fertilized egg at 8 to 32 celled stage right so the correct answer is the bc bcda bcad bcda so the correct option is the fourth right now come to the next which one of the following products of the apiculture now what is that apiculture that is rearing of the honey bee right that is rearing of the honey bee or we can say rearing of the bee right bee keeping is known as the apiculture bee keeping is known as the apiculture right which is used in cosmetics and polishes right so uh, honey is the honey is also the product of the bee right oil royal jelly bee wax so that bee wax is used in cosmetics and the polishes as well right as we know that the apiculture is the rearing of the honey bee and that honey bee is apiculture rearing of honey bee right and these honey bees are the colonial social polymorphic right why polymorphic because uh, they have the different size and shape right with a division of labor right with a division of labor a colony of honey bee consists of three castes right first one is the queen second is drone and third one is the workers right bee keeping is called the apiculture queen drone workers these are the three castes of the honey bees and as we know that honey is produced by the honey bee that's why the name is the honey bee na right that honey is produced by the honey bee uh, honey is produced by the honey bee which is probably honey which is probably the oldest right it is the oldest sweetening agent right it is the oldest sweetening agent in our civilization right so honey is a product of that honey is the product of regurgitation the product of regurgitation of nectar from crop right and sucrose is hydrolyzed into dextrose and levulose right sucrose is hydrolyzed into the dextrose and the 
levulose. As we know that honey is stored in the cells of comb, right, which is the taste uh, and that honey is tasty, the health giving and it also has the medicinal value, right. So that honey bee is also uh, other uh, rather than the honey, that honey bee is also that honey bee also yield for the wax right which is known as the bee wax that wax which has the multiple uses used in the cosmetics used uh, to uh, form the uh, some ointments uh, right uh, some ointments and uh, the other uh, uh, used in the creams also right so that but when we talk about that bee wax so that bee wax is the secretory product that B wax is the secretory product of hypodermal glands of the abdomen hypodermal glands of the abdomen of worker bee right this is the question of pre medical right that bee wax is secreted by the hypodermal glands of the worker bee right so simply this is all about the honey bee there are some species that is European bee, that European bee is Apis mellifera, that ro rock bee which is the largest bee is called the Apis dorsata, right, Indian bee Apis indica, smallest bee that is called the Apis flori, right, so all these are and even by the use of the alkaloids or the by the use of the chemical which is secreted by the honey bees, uh, uh, medicine is formed for the urinary tract infection also, right? Come to the next question that is 24. The term pisciculture means inland fisheries, okay, correct. The aquatic plants, no, that is, all, uh, that is only related with the fisheries. So, inland and marine fisheries also, right? So, the answer is the 1 and 3. So, now the question is what is fishery, right? Actually, that is rearing of the fishes, right? And in that particular, we know uh, we there are some branches. That is, first one is the aquaculture, right? That is the branch of science in which we deals about the culturing, right? In which we deals about the culturing and Culturing and rearing of the freshwater organisms, right? Freshwater organisms like the fishes and the prawn, right? Like the fishes and the prawn. When we talk about the pisciculture, pisciculture is culturing of the selected types of the fishes under the controlled conditions of the breeding. That is called the pisciculture, right? That is called the pisciculture. What is that pisciculture? Culturing of selected culturing of selected types of fishes under under controlled conditions. of breeding under controlled conditions of breeding right so that is called the pisciculture when we talk about now actually uh, fish is an easily available food for the cattle and the poultry feed also right so uh, fish liver oil is high uh, has highly medicinal value right 
देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फिशरीज ऑल्सो दैट इज कल्चर फिशरी एंड द कैप्चर फिशरी कल्चर फिशरी दैट इज द रेयरिंग ऑफ द रेजिंग ऑफ द फिशेज इन टैंक्स एंड द पोन्स राइट एंड इन कैप्चर फिशरीज दैट इज द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कैचिंग ऑफ द फिशेज विदाउट एक्चुअल रेजिंग ऑफ दैम राइट सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द फिशरीज देर आर सम स्पेसिफिक एज वी नो दैट in ncrt some species are given right that some fresh water fishes which are very common included the katla katla right the rohu the common carp which are the edible fishes some of the marine fishes that are eaten include the hilsa sardines mackerels and the pomfret right because they are the marine so sometimes the person that pomfret is very famous because it's salty itself enough right it's salty enough itself and uh, some persons just roast and eat it without any kind of spices right just because of the salt is also present in it right because it is marine species right so that's why this is all about the pisciculture or the fishery right come to the next question that is blue evolution is enhancement in the production of the milk egg fish wheat that is related with the fish right that blue revolution is related with the actually water and the water uh, aquatic organisms right so that is related with the fish come to the next question the spread of bird flu can be prevented by as we know that the bird flu is spread by it's a an uh, avian influenza right that is a viral disease which is caused by the most common cause uh, uh, virus is the h5n1 right cooling exactly breeding no separation of infected birds from the flock of undeceased ones correct so that is the answer is 1 and d correct answer is 1 and d but now the question is what is that culling right what is that culling culling is the process of the segregation of the organisms from a group according to the desired or undesired characteristics right if uh that in animal breeding it is the process of removing or segregation animals from a breeding stock right which is based on the specific track if it attract attract if it is uh, uh, it's not uh, if that uh, particular uh, animal is uh, or the group of animals is diseased or affecting uh, by some infection so we have to segregate them from the another animals right so both of these processes are related are uh, we, we can use by these processes uh, we can prevent the spread of the bird flu right come to the next one feeding constituent the major management concerned in poultry it is required for the egg production only in case of poultry so we know that uh, in poultry by the chickens the eggs are uh, eggs is uh, formed right the layer is formed the egg and broilers is used for the chicken right uh, that is meat meat production only both egg and both egg and meat production feeding of the birds and poultry is not a form of primary importance so it is required for high that is both egg and meat production right so the answer is c that is third come to the next which one of the following is not an objective of animal breeding increasing yield of milk egg meat wool that is the objective of breeding so that is not uh, incorrect right improving of desirable qualities of uh, of uh, products or the produce correct that is slow growth rate no right that is not related uh, that is not the objective of the animal breeding resistance to various diseases right so the answer is the slow growth rate right come to the next an outcross is produced when animals we already studied about the out outcross right within the same breed having common ancestors are mated no within the same breed having no common ancestors on either side of their pedigree up to 4 to 6 generation are mated exactly right that is the outcrossing of different breeds are mated of different species are mated no so the most appropriate answer is the 2 right 
which one of the following is practice to overcome of an average productivity in animals uh, with respect to the milk production growth rate in beef and cattle etc right outcrossing the cross breeding the interspecific hybridization or the inbreeding so that is the outcrossing clear come to the next we already discussed it that zardel the new breed of the sheep which is which was developed in the punjab is obtained by the crossing of the bicanary ewes and the merino rams right so the answer is bicanary ewes and merino rams right so the answer is 1 clear we already discussed it actually come to the next question which one of the following statement is incorrect right that is the incorrect is it related with the incorrect so it's not related with respect to the inbreeding inbreeding increases the homozygosity it is correct inbreeding exposes the harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by the selection it is correct right inbreeding helps in accumulation of the deleterious alleles and the elimination of the desirable alleles no inbreeding helps in developing a pure line right correct right so the incorrect answer is third right come to the next question artificial breeding of cattle is brought about by artificial breeding of cattle that is related with the artificial insemination as well as the super ovulation and embryo transfer right so interspecific hybridization no so both a and b so the answer is the four right come to the next question the hormone injected to cow to induce the follicular maturation and super ovulation is having the fsh like activity that is the follicle stimulating hormone so the answer is fsh 34 we already discussed all these things uh, in previous questions right so answer is d now come to the next question that is mode multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology it has not it has not been practiced in cattle sheep rabbits and the poultry right that moat has not been practiced in it is it practiced in the cattle it practiced in the sheep as well in the rabbit also right but it's not practiced in the poultry so the answer is the d only right come to the next rearing of bees is called the apiculture we already studied about that the most common species of honey bee reared commercially in the artificial hives in india when it is talking about the in india right that apis mellifera right that is the common species of honey bee which is reared that is apis mellifera which is called the european bee right it is called the european bee actually which one of the following are the edible marine right edible marine fishes hilsa katla sardines no it is fresh water right sardine merkels rohu now rohu is fresh water hilsa sardine merkels right merkels pomfret common carp common carp is again fresh water so the answer is 3 clear aquaculture does not aquaculture does not include the production of correct 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 not related with the silk production of silk is known as the sericulture right it is called the sericulture that is rearing of the uh, silk moth right that is the bombex mori the most common that is bombex mori commercial come to the next to increase the me milk yield cow is given still bestrol this is the direct question of pre medical right still bestrol tablet is given to cow to increase the milk yielding right pure line breed refers to heterozygous that is two no when we talk about the pure line that is homozygosity is there to hetero uh, so heterozygous options are cancelled homozygosity but self assortment no so it's only homozygosity only right so pure la, pure line breeds refers to the homozygosity only right now come to the pabrin and silk worm is caused by pabrin and silk worm is caused by nosema the answer is that nosema and what is that 
Now, as uh, in that question, pabrin and silkworm is caused by. So, what is that pabrin? Right, silkworm is known as the Bombex murai or the in common name that is moth. What is Dugesia? What is Monocystis? What is Noshima? What is the Tekina flies? As uh, we know that that pabrin. What is that pabrin? Pabrin is a paper disease, right? That pabrin is the paper disease, which is the disease of the silkworm, right? That is the disease of the silkworm, which is caused by a protozoan microsporidian parasite, right? Mainly Nosema bombesis, but some another species are also there, which affects or which causes the disease in the silkworm, but the most common cause is the Nosema, right? and the parasite uh, that parasite infects the eggs and therefore transmitted to the next generation clear and what is that nosema that nosema apis is a microsporidian right that is the small unicellular parasite recently reclassified as a fungus right it is recently reclassified as a fungus that mainly affects the honeybees right it mainly affects the honeybees but it also affects the silkworm also right so it causes the uh, nosemosis which is called the nosema which is the most common and widespread disease of the adult honeybee clear now come to the that dugesia dugesia is also known as the planaria right that is the planaria flat form right that it belongs to the phylum platyhelminthes that monocystis that is a or that is also a parasite which belongs to the class sporozoa right so these all these are the causes uh, these are the uh, disease causing organism and uh, that is the vector right so, the, so that pabrin is a disease in silkworm which is caused by the nosema now come to the next that is which one of the following disease is caused by a protozoan emeria in fowls resulting in the bloody diarrhea right so it is uh, that disease is known as the cocoides right that disease is known as the cocoides which is caused by the protozoan emeria and uh, resulting in the bloody diarrhea right come to the next a cow which gives more milk per lactation is bred uh, uh, into a pure line right and when we talk about the pure line that is the homozygosity and homozygosity that is inbreeding right so answer is one come to the next question which one of the following is correct to check the inbreeding depression we already discussed is it the inbreeding depression that is selection of animal should be mated with the unrelated superior animals of the same breed right so that is the answer is artificial not cross breeding not that is clear so the answer is 3 come to the next that is 46 rani ket is a disease of rani ket is the disease of the poultry disease it's very famous actually rani ket disease is the poultry disease right shahtoot is obtained from that shahtoosh right that shahtoosh is obtained from that shahtoosh is uh, obtained from the chiru right that shahtoosh is obtained from the chiru what is that shahtoosh right why what is that shahtoosh and uh, uh, lohi patanwadi all these are the species of the animals right that chiru or uh, that chiru is shahtoosh is the name given to the wool right that is the finest wool right that is the finest wool wool of the tibetan chiru antelopes right name of the antelope tibetan antelope is chiru that is the species which are trapped killed and skinned for their short fine fleeces right these shatu shawls are illegally in illegal in the united states and pashmina comes from the tibetan mountain goats right so that is the shatu and the cheru right come to the next match the following column kashmiri goats kashmiri goats is kashmiri goats that is the pashmina right pashmina is obtained from the kashmiri goat tibetan antelope that is related with the shahtoosh right rabbit that is angura wool and the sheep or uh, nali is the species of that right that is superior carpet wool right so the d1 so a2 a2 
3 and 4 is cancelled, B3, so the answer is 2, right? Come to the next, if a kettle is showing increased respiration and blood mixed, foamy discharge from the mouth, nose, anus, it is likely to be suffering from, it is likely to be suffering from, actually render pest is not related with that, mad cow disease is not related with, it is poultry disease, anthrax is related with the disease of the ungulates, right, it is the cattle disease in which uh, that anthrax, uh, anthrax is caused by the anthrax, right, and at, uh, by the affection of that anthracis, what will happen? The frothy discharge comes out from the mouth, the nose, the anus and uh, maybe the uh, which is mixed with the blood, right? Come to the next. The queen honeybees lays, uh, lays eggs of one type from which all castes develop? No. Two types from uh, two types, one form queen and workers, and second time form drones. Yes, not three types, not unfertilized eggs, right? So, this answer second, uh, the queen honeybee legs uh, that is the answer is two, right? So, in that way, the uh, uh, that chapter that is animal husbandry is completely summarized and completely discussed with the help of these questions, right? Thank you so much.